All right, boys and girls, Coach Katie here again. We are back for another at-home class. So I'm gonna let your parents know everything that you're gonna need today for our class and for our games, and then we'll get right into playing, okay? So today, we need a balloon, okay? So pull out those old party bins and see if you can find a balloon somewhere that you can blow up, because we're gonna use that today. We also need a bouncy ball, okay? So any ball, any size, doesn't matter, can be big, can be small, but we need a nice, round bouncy ball okay i also have some old party cups okay we're going to use this for a game later you can use regular plastic cups you can use um party cups you can use anything like that that you have around your house but please don't use any breakable cups for this game that we're going to do okay we need our floor markers so anything that you have at home that you can stand on whether it be a tea towel or a face cloth or a uh, piece of construction paper a pillow a toy anything like that that you can find okay now today's a little bit different because today takes a little bit of prep we had to do some crafts to come up with some of the um, items that we are going to be using so i have created a racket Okay, so I took an old paper plate. Well, it's actually plastic, but it's an old plastic plate. And I took a paint stir stick, okay, and I've taped them on. And we have made a couple of rackets like you would use for tennis or for badminton. And we're going to be using those today as well. And the only other items that you need is a sheet or a blanket of some kind and two chairs that you can tie it to. Because later on in our class, we're going to make a net that we can play our tennis or our badminton over top of, okay? So two chairs and a sheet, a blanket, something like that that you can tie across. Even maybe an old big shirt of some kind would work as well, okay? Those are the items that you need. Get all ready, have a nice big open space, and we will start with our silly song and our stretches. All right, boys and girls, we have found our open space. I've got my awesome helper back with me, and we are going to do our happy and you know it to get started for our class. I'm going to turn on our music. <laughs> And we're going to bend forwards. 
And we're going to stretch backwards. Good job. All right, feet together, arms out, and we're going to try to lift one leg up and see if we can balance, okay? For our little guys, it's okay if we hold on to mom or dad's hand. But for our older guys, we want to try to lift this up on our own. It's okay if we lose our balance to put our foot back down and lift it back up again, okay? Good job. Okay, Kelly, arms up nice and wide. We're going to try to lift up that other leg. You got it. One leg always seems a little bit harder than the other ones. Good job. Okay, one more and then we're going to get into our game. Let's stand nice and straight and tall like a pencil. And then we're going to jump it like a star. And jump it like a pencil. Star. Pencil. Star. Pencil. Star. Pencil. pencil. One more. Star. Pencil. You got it. All right, let's shake all those sillies out. Shake, 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 shake. Get all those sillies out before we play our games. All right, boys and girls, make sure you have a nice open space and we're going to get right into our first game. All right, boys and girls at home, to get warmed up today, we are going to play a game called Coach Says. So I'm going to be the coach that says things, and Ethan here, and you guys at home are going to follow along. So we're going to walk you through what the different things are. If coach says up, you're going to reach up as high as you can, okay? If coach says down, you're going to bend down and touch the floor, okay? So your knees should come down, your bum should come down, everything should come down towards the floor. If coach says run, you're going to jog on the spot. Run, 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 run. If coach says bunny hop, you're going to hop like a bunny. Hop, 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 hop. And if coach says pancake, what are you going to do? You're going to go down flat on the ground as fast as you can like a pancake. Okay? So this is kind of like Simon says, but this is coach says. And I'm going to mix them up a little bit as we go. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Are you guys ready at home? Let's give this a go. Coach says up. Coach says down. Coach says run. Coach says bunny hop. Coach says pancake. Oh, good job, good job. Coach says up. Good job. Coach says up. Oh, I tricked you. Coach says down. Coach says pancake. Good job, good job. Coach says bunny hop. Good job. Coach says pancake. Coach says running. Good job, good job. Coach says up. Coach says down. Coach says up. Coach says down. Coach says up. Coach says down. Coach says up. Coach says running. Running, running. Sorry, you can do it. Just jog on the spot. You got it. Just a nice, easy jog. Coach says bunny hop. Oh, I tricked you. I tricked you. Good job. Coach says pancake. Good job, coach says up. Great. Coach says down. Coach says up. Coach says down. Coach says pancake. All right, I think I'm tired, Ethan. I think I maybe I'm tired. You guys out at home, you can play more of that game later if you want to and have mom or dad or an older brother or sister call those out for you, okay? Because it's a lot of fun and a great way to get warmed up. Good job, guys. Let's get ready for our next game. All right, boys and girls, so now it's time to bring out the crafts that we've done. We've got our homemade rackets with our plates and our paint sticks. Maybe you guys use rulers at home or something different. Whatever you have for your racket, let's get that out and our balloon. So our first game is going to be our keep up, okay? But we're going to use our racket. So we're going to see if we can keep our balloon up in the air with hitting it with our racket, okay? Callie, are you ready to try? All right, let's give it a go. Good job. Just come over this way a little bit, sweetheart. Good job. Let's keep it up. Good work. You got it. Look at that. So she's doing nice, easy hits, watching that balloon with her eyes to keep control of it. If she wants to challenge herself a little bit, she can try to hit it up a little bit higher. And we can pass it back and forth. Good job. Woo! We got it. So you guys can play keep up together if you have more than one racket, or the kids can play by themselves trying to keep those balloons up in the air. If they get really, really good at this, we can try to hit it up and then do one of our 
tricks before we knock it back down. So here, let, let me see if I can do something. We're gonna hit it up, we're gonna clap our racket, and we're gonna hit it again. We're gonna hit it up, we're gonna clap our racket, and we're gonna hit it again. You think you're ready? Okay, let's try it. You ready? So turn your racket over the other way. You got it. Okay, let's see. We're gonna hit it. Clap, clap. Good job. Excellent work. So let's see you practice with your rackets at home and see if you can keep those balloons up in the air. All right, so this is where we need your mom and dad's help a little bit. I have set up for my kids two chairs and I have taken a sheet and I have tied it through the rungs of our chair. So we have created a net so that the kids can play tennis or badminton, whatever we want to call it. So we're going to start by tossing our balloon in and they're going to try to hit it back and forth over the net to each other. Are you guys ready? Yep. All right. Just back up a tiny one little step count. Perfect. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Over. You got it. You got it. Whoa. Where are you? Hit it that way. Good job. Okay. That's, you got it. Hit it again. Good work. Hit it over. Whoa, it's back. Keep going. Hit it. Hit it. You got it back up a little bit. Whoa, you got it. Good job. And they're keeping it up and they're keeping it in. Good job. Let's start again. Okay, are you ready? Nice and easy. Whoa, good one. Nice and easy. Back and forth. So this is really, really great for the kids. Hand and eye coordination. We're trying to keep it nice and small here so that we can keep it in the screen for you guys on video. But if you're at home, you can back them up. You can pull that net farther apart so they have more space to hit back and forth to each other. And if they get really, really good, you can start this as an actual game where it would be one hit, right? And if the balloon drops to the ground, it would be a point for the other person, okay? This is lots of fun at home for the kids, all right? And a little bit of friendly sibling, sibling rivalry as you go as well. All right, boys and girls, for our last activity today at home, we're gonna do some in the house bowling. So both of the kids here have their own ball, okay? And I have taken our old party cups and I have set them up in each of them to have their own bowling alley. So each kid is gonna have a couple turns and they are gonna roll their ball and see how many of their cone or their cups, I should say, that they can knock over. They're gonna try to get them all knocked out of the way with three rolls, okay? So are you guys ready to try your first one? I'm gonna hop out and grab those balls for you so you guys can stay put. All right, ready? Let's do that first roll. So Dan, just like you're bowling, and roll. Whoa, that one went right over. Oh, Ethan got three his first turn. Make sure you roll it right along the ground, right along the ground. Oh, Kelly got three, I think that one too. Ethan's got one left. Oh, how'd we do, did we hit one? Roll it right along the ground, Ethan. Right into that last one. Here, Kelly, one last turn to see if you can get that last one. Whoa, nice try. So bowling is a lot of fun for the kids to do at home. Again, we have kept us really, really small so that we can stay in the screen for you guys. But at home, you can spread this out down a hallway or anything else to see how good the kids can get. This is really, really great for their hand-eye coordination and also for their spatial distancing, right? Because they have to make sure they're lining up to where they want to roll it to, which is great for soccer, for baseball, for basketball, for anything like that, as well as bowling, okay? Let's see pictures of you guys doing those at home. All right, boys and girls, so we had a lot of fun with all those games today, so now we're ready to make our pizzas, okay? Are you ready? All right, we're going to start with our sauce, and we got to get it way up to the very top of our pizza. Ethan, do you have ideas for our pizza today for toppings? Let's do black olives. Black olives, okay, let's do it. That's a good one. Okay, I think today I will add um, spinach. I want spinach on my pizza. Let's see, do you guys like spinach on your pizza? Okay, what else could we put on our pizza? Pineapple. Pineapple, of course. Let's put some pineapple on. You got it. I think there's a lot of kids at home that would like blueberries. Do you want to put some blueberries on? Sure. Okay, let's put, let's put some blueberries on our pizza. Hmm, what else could we put on? Ham. Ham. Let's put some ham on. You got it. Does it look good? You know what we have to add on the top, though? Cheese. Cheese, of course. So let's sprinkle our cheese all over our pizza. You got it. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, let's take our pizza and we're going to push it in the oven. Is that your oven, babe? Yeah. 
That's a pretty funny beat. That's a fast oven. Let's pull our pizza out and we're gonna take some big bites. Good job. All right, we gotta take some sticky, sticky glue next and we're gonna cover the bottom of our shoes or our socks or our bare feet and then we're gonna stick them together so they can't come apart. Make sure you got lots of glue on there. And we're gonna flap our butterfly wings. Good job, make those butterflies fly. Excellent job today, boys and girls. I hope you're having fun doing our at-home classes. If you've got ideas that you've tried at home for games that we could throw into one of our classes, please let us know because we would love to share it with all of our other sport kids out there. All right, see you next time, bye.